Hello everyone from Bulimas. Today we will talking about like a rolling machine, our rolling machine for closed shape and empty side shape as they said, like this shape. This is like empty inside and can make like rolling the uh, shape outside in. It's based on like our uh, heads for the machine. Now we will talk about this machine in general, about its part and about uh, and we can make one model for this uh, machine. And we can see the process, all the process and all the details about it. So let's start. So at first we will talk about the board, the main board for it. This in here you can see the speed for its rolling. Let's try it for now. Like we can choose the the way of direction as it's all the two heads are like rolling at the same at the same uh, direction. So now we will talk about the main board for the machine. We have here the speed for its rolling, how how much speed it can be rolled. Uh, the with the uh, side it will roll left or right, and here like for error stuff. And in here it's like closing and opening the machine. So as first we can see the speed in here. Like let's put it to zero, go left. As you can see in here, both of them are rolling at the same time uh, and at the same time, the same direction. If you want to take it to the other uh, direction, it can be uh, go to the right direction. And here we can make the speed lower or uh, higher. And that's all. Also, we can after we can put the speed, for example, to two and we can uh, control it by leg. It will be easier like this. Go to the right side and here can take it to the left side. This will help you when you're like away from the machine or it will be easier in here to control, like not to control them in both hands. And that's pretty much the thing for the part. So from this side, we can, uh, as we can see, we can pull the sheet, like the gold sheet from here. After we put it to the head, we will now discuss about it. And we have also this part. This part can make it about the safety. Let's uh, say, for example, we start working on this and this already pulled this uh, item it will close the machine immediately and will stop like the working because in here if this part reached in here it will be it will have some problem so we have the safety block in here and we will see now why it's for after the start working and that's pretty much it for the machine and here we have the cable to pull it and as well we have in here the, th the part to roll the sheet on after like in the last uh, uh, stage also for this machine, let's talk about the different shape between them. Like for example, we have these heads, we can put them in there. These heads are depending on the shape you will do. For example, you make these parts can give you uh, to choose uh, the shape you want to get. For example, in here we have like a uh, square one and here we have like half circle one. So this one and like many more will be posting in here, like depending on the shape you want, depending on the uh, uh, dimension of the shape. And here also uh, each shape can come with like a different thickness for the sheet. Also the width for the sheet. We can also manage these like for example, you, uh, we want to get out a dimension out of two million. We can choose a different uh, width and uh, thickness in here uh, from the sheet. Now we will working on like 0 for 25. The 0 0.25 it can, uh, 25 can make it until uh, 0 0.3 and 2, 0 0.2. It can work on this uh, the same uh, sheet. Also we can give a different size from the, this part, like the long part. The long part can, now we will see why it's working, but we can give more than one size for this. It will give you like uh, a thinner sheet uh, uh, from the different uh, sizes. So now we will work, it will be easier to understand and let's start with the th first model. As the first step, we have to Im uh, implement this inside of the head. But now, as you see, it's, the width is a bit higher, so we want to make it as narrow as we can. Let's start. As you can see, now we get it out from the other, uh, other side. Now it will be better if we make it like wider, but for now let's try on this. So as first we can put it in here to start the pulling process. As we can see in here it will be like hard for us to bring like uh, to control it from there. So we can bring this so we can start working from here. Now 
now we sh we doesn't have to make it so long. We only make wanna make it uh, fit in there. So as we can see, now we can get it out from here. Now, as we can see, the shape already have been done almost, not very perfectly. But now this is doesn't matter because we only want to put it like to be fit fitable to put in the other side. So as we saw, it's already um, get in from this side of the head to the other side, and that's all. Now, when you're working in gold, normally they make it a bit hot, like to be more uh, flexible to work on. But for now, this worked for us. Maybe it, we get a bit of cut in here, as you saw, because it's a bit tough. Like the material is tough and it's cold as well. So now let's go to the other side and see what we should do. Now in here, we have to make it a circle. So we can post, uh, put it from here. So as you can see, for the, for the first thing we have to do, to do is get this out from here. Because I, as we said, they all both like go together, like rolling together, as you can see. So if we roll it together, it will hit this stop emergency and the machine. As you can see, if this hit this part, it will not go to this side anymore. It will go to the other side only. It will not go to the same side, like the safety side. So that's why we check this out and we start the process from here, from the other side, to make it like circle head, to make the shape circular. Circular. Okay, so the first thing we have to check that this one is perfectly tight. After that, we can put this uh, head. There's a place in here to put the head on. And we can just hold it by this hand. Also, when you tie this up, you have to make sure it's not very inside. Uh, it's not going very inside because now, when we open the machine, we want it to roll on the other side. Only we have to make this really tight. I think that's fine right now. Now there's another thing. As you can see in here, this side is straight, so it's supposed to be at the bottom. So you have to make sure to hold this on until it's like straight before you start pulling or start the machine itself. At the same time, you can see this part. This part, we will put it inside here just to have like the shape when it's rolling. So now when we want to roll this one around the steel thing, not to lose its shape, we should put like some steel metal thing inside of it. This will come with the heads as well, as we talked before. Also some people are putting some plastic item instead of this, like all of inside of the material, because they want to make like a model inside of it, uh, outside of it. After this process, they can make uh, a design of stuff outside of the bangle. So at that time they put some plastic inside after making the design or the engraving on the texture outside they put it inside of some liquid so the plastic will be finished <laughs> somehow. So yeah, now we will start the process. We should, as we said, we, may, we have to make sure it's already straight. So now as you can see the sh it's losing some shape in here, so we have to implement this inside just for the first circle to save its cycle. As you can see now the shape has become better, like it's a bit tough and in here there is this side, this, uh, the, the right side. This one use it for closing, they usually use this side for closing and after that the finishing so it's supposed to have this side in here to be shown. You have to give it a little power for the right or the left, not to get uh, to get beside the one before. For the speed, you have to make the speed like really low because if it if you make it like uh, higher or something, it might cut the 
gold or something. Okay. We finished already. Now as we can see, you already finished. Now for this one, it's worked fine and everything is good. And here we have like some adjustment if uh, the head, for example, is not coming perfectly on here on the surface, we can manage it to be in, uh, to come forward or backward. So that's why this will not break and will give like a better shape. For now, it's fine for us. Let's now check it out to get it out from here. We will open it from here. And we will open it from the other side. Just put this out. And to close this again. So as we see, this is the shape we made. As you see in here, the details, everything is fine. And here we have this side for like the finishing. So everything looks perfect. As we said before, we have like many shapes like this. We have this one, we have the other one, and we will put like other uh, shapes in here and near this video so you can check the shape out. And if you have like a special shape, you can also send us for the shape, for the width, the thickness, everything, we can manage it. And that's all about this machine, the rolling machine for closed shape. So this one usually they use it to make like the more lightweight. So it's empty inside, you can make outside, you can make some engraving or some models by laser. So that's really good for like jewelries with low cost or lightweight jewelry. And that's pretty much it about this machine. And see you in our next video. Have a good day and you can subscribe and contact us by the contacts under the videos. And have a good day.